I think the most rampant narrative in the market right now is that the Fed will pivot and save markets. Many people are buying right now in anticipation of a Fed pivot, but I don't think that they have the correct assumption about what the market's doing right now. And I don't think that we really have the evidence that a Fed pivot will even save the market. And to really paint that picture for you, let's do some historical analysis. As you can see, I have the early 2000s pulled up on the chart right here. I don't have a sponsor for my videos, so I sponsor my own videos. And what I wanna tell you about real quick is the Discord. Look, I get it, the financial Twitter is awesome. It's nonstop information. It's really entertaining, but it's not very helpful for actual trading. About 90% of the information that goes through financial Twitter doesn't actually help you make money, and you've probably already recognized this. But you know what could actually help you is by joining the Discord and the link down in the description below. Actually join a networking group with profitable traders engineers, coders, people who can actually teach you about the innovation in the markets today. And most of it is completely free, but if you do wanna subscribe, it's only $25 a month and it won't stay that way as we continue to grow. So if you want that cheap price, make sure you get in now. Anyways, thanks for your patience for watching this. Remember, making all this content, even creating the Discord, this all takes time for me, right? But you know, that subscription, it really helps support what I do. It keeps me motivated to make more content and also shows me that people actually find value in what I do, which is really important to me that this is actually helpful for you. So anyways, let's hop right back into the analysis. We can see that heading into 2000, if I move actually my cam right here, you can see that a little bit better. We have this bullish rally right here, this melt up that's occurring during a Fed tightening cycle. It's lasted about eight to 10 months. And then as the Fed began to ease to try and save the market, this is when the Fed is saving the market. Remember, this lasts about 12 months. Well, during cutting interest rates, the market melted down. Then we go into the actual bear market bottom, which is significantly after a Fed pivot. It's important to recognize. And this bear market bottom gave us three significant bottoms over a nine month span. And that was then when you got your actual bull market that lasted into 2007. Coming across that again, heading into 2004 to 2006, we have another tightening cycle where the market melts up during the Fed tightening. Then we have the Fed cutting interest rates here in 08, again, before the actual bear market bottom. Now, what's interesting about this one is you actually have three more cuts in a panic to try and save the market, but still the actual bottom comes after the Fed pivot. I think this is really important to consider when you look at the market environment today where people are saying, well, when the Fed pivots, the market will be fine. But I think, again, we're very likely to see that after the Fed pivots, that's when we get our actual bottom. I do not think that the Fed will save the market I think that they're gonna be reacting too late and then it'll be important for investors and traders to be aware of the historical significance of how this usually plays out. Now if we look at the market today, I think it's really important that you like the video and maybe subscribe to the channel because I try to put out lots of helpful content to help retail traders and investors. And if we look at what's going on today, we see a lot of algorithmic buying. And if I clean this chart up so you can actually see it, we could see the flag that's developing here. We could see these higher lows within this channel that are forming which makes it look like you're going to get a significant breakthrough. Another thing to really keep an eye on is some of the data that I shared in the Discord this morning. If we look at this right here, and I move my camera a little bit, we can see that mutual funds have an all-time high of cash right now. There's tons of cash on the sidelines right now in this market. Historical amounts of cash on the sidelines. Yet, these portfolio managers have to perform right? They aren't, you know, going to sit on the sidelines or let their competitors get better returns than them and lose clients because of it. All right. They will come in in this market and the algos will also do more buying if we get a significant break up on this channel. So I think it's really important to keep that in mind, but also keep in mind that more long-term macro over the course of the year, I do expect more lows to come in for this market. And you should be aware of that because it could be pretty devastating. In fact, if we're expecting revisits to the pre-COVID highs right here, that would put us near the 320 level. So 
I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the weekly report that comes out on Wednesday where we're going to talk about the earnings coming up and what I expect the short term top to be and where most of my money is right now.